So my name is Tina and I have HER2 positive stage two, grade three invasive ductal carcinoma, breast cancer. I was I found the lump in May and I was diagnosed in June and uh, I had a mammogram a year ago with nothing on it. So it's pretty quick growing. It was the size of a golf ball. Hopefully after one chemo, I think it's already down. So that's awesome. But I have uh, chemo and immunotherapy, it's two drugs for each. I've had one treatment and you tend to start losing your hair between the first and the second. And mine are three weeks apart. My next one is Monday. And uh, so anyway, my hair started falling out. I've never been a girly girl, never really been that into makeup and hair and all that stuff. But the thought of losing my hair is scary. And I'm self-conscious enough with my obesity and that's been kicked to the wayside when you're dealing with cancer, you know, the, I don't give a flying Funyun <laughs> from the movie Switch. Um, some, but there's just fear, fear of the unknown, fear of how it's going to look. I have a big head and, you know, I'm not, there's some women that can really rock the bald and uh, I'll be doing that in spirit. I don't think, um, anyway, but. My hair's kind of always been my thing. And I've always liked it, even though I've had it short because I get fed up with having to um, to dry it and all that stuff. Uh, so I'm a little freaked out. I, I haven't done anything to it in the last few days, so that's why it's a mess. My hair started falling out and I was scared to touch it or wash it for fear that more would come out. And if you think, it's not coming out. I want to show you what that looks like. So I just run just like this and look at all that. I don't know if you can see it. So anyway, that's not normal. That's chemo. And uh, I keep thinking back to um, Love, Sex, and the City and thinking back on that one. I wasn't doing a job. No worries there. But, um, yeah, I think it should be a rule. If you have to shave your head, if you're badass and brave enough to shave your head for cancer, I think Smith Jared should manifest to help you through it. Um, well, that's it. I, I'm doing this on my Kindle. I don't have any kind of selfie stick or any of that stuff. And so I'm going to buzz it now and then I will show you what it looks like. When it's done. I actually feel pretty good. I thought that there were going to be tears and maybe all those years, those God's way, all those years of me being impatient and cutting my own hair. <laughs> uh, maybe that prepared me. I don't know, but I'm, it looks pretty funky. I'm not looking forward to bald. I think I'm sort of egg heady. Got a couple of trims to do. It's a little hard to get the back and the sides. But um, I think this is what a badass cancer fighter looks like, or I, as I call it, a boob warrior. So here we go. Rocking the buzz cut. <laughs> Peace out.